Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Friday. We've got nine matchups on this NBA slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. And uh, yeah, let's hop in it. Pretty good slate today. Starting with the New Orleans Pelicans versus the Orlando Magic. Pelicans opening up as a one and a half point road favorite with the over under at 228 and a half. Pelicans coming into this matchup 26 and 19. The Magic 16 and 28. Head to head, the Magic are 7 and 3. Um, you got the Pelicans 3 and 7 in their last 10. It's been kind of a struggle since, you know, they've lost Zion. Um, Magic on a two game losing streak here. Um, yeah, the Pelicans, they've struggled against the Magic 2 and 6 against Orlando. Two and six covering against Orlando. Three and six on the road against Orlando. I don't know what it is. They've struggled against the Magic here. And um, I think it's a good spot for the Magic as an underdog at home against a struggling Pelicans team. Give me the Magic plus one and a half and money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Golden State Warriors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs opening up as a seven and a half point home favorite with the over under at 225. Head to head, Golden State is 10 and 0. Um, yeah, we're going to see who plays uh, Warriors coming off a of back to back. I feel like they probably will rest Curry. Um, I don't know that for yet, in fact, but I, I, just, I just don't think he's going to be playing back to backs here. Warriors losing a you know a tough overtime loss yesterday against Boston. Then Cleveland coming off a tough Memphis loss. Uh, Donovan Mitchell is questionable. Be sure to check his status here. You know, the Warriors, they I mean, 10-0 against Cleveland. They've been very good against Cleveland here. Uh, Cleveland definitely has struggled against the, the Warriors. They are 15-3 and at home. Cleveland, a really good home team. Uh, but the, if the Warriors choose to rest people, like, uh, especially if, if Curry's out here and Donovan Mitchell plays, I'm going to roll with the Cavs minus seven and a half and money line at home. Not in love with the spread. I'd probably lean more towards the money line, throw them in a parlay. But we'll take the Cavs at home, but be sure to monitor the two stars of this matchup. Next matchup, we got the Miami Heat versus the Dallas Mavericks. Heat opening up as a one point road favorite with the over under at 218 and a half. Heat coming into this matchup 25 and 21. Dallas 24 and 22. Head to head, Miami is seven and three. Miami uh coming off a nice Pelicans win. Dallas one and five in their last six. I mean, they've been struggling here. And um they are getting Tim Hardaway Jr. back, which is nice. Uh Heat nine and two covering against the Mavs. Uh 15 and five against the Mavs. They've been very good against Dallas here. Dallas really has struggled. And um don't see any injuries for the Heat. This one's tough, man. Mavs have just been really a letdown. Luka's been, you know, playing so good. And really, the team just hasn't been able to do much of anything here. And um, I'd like to be wrong, but Mavs just aren't playing right right now. And I think I'm going to take the Heat money line on the road. Maybe I'll be wrong. Mavs turning around. But, man, the Mavs have just been such a letdown these this last two weeks here. And uh, we'll take Heat money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the New York Knicks versus the Atlanta Hawks. Hawks opening up as a two and a half point home favor with the over under at 230. Knicks coming into this matchup 25 and 21. The Hawks 23 and 22. Head to head, both teams have won five out of their last 10 games. Uh, Trey Young and Bogdanovich are both questionable. So be sure to check their statuses of. If Trey Young's out, then you know, probably gonna fade the the Hawks here. Knicks on a two-game losing streak. Hawks on a little four-game winning streak. They're playing well. Uh Knicks are 11 and 1 covering on the road. Very good road team. Um 9-3 and 1 on the road against Atlanta. I think they're I think they're yeah, you're just gonna have to check Trey Young's status today because that's a big injury, but I'm liking the Knicks here. Knicks are playing really good on the road here. Definitely a winnable game for them on the road. Um, even if Trey Young plays, I still like the Knicks plus two and a half on the road. 
Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Clippers versus the San Antonio Spurs. Clippers opening up as a seven point road favorite with the over under at 234. Clippers coming into this matchup 23 and 24. The Spurs 14 and 31. Head to head, the Clippers are seven and three. Um, I don't see any, any news about um, Kawhi Leonard or Paul George. They did miss last game, so I feel like they should be good to go here. Uh, Clippers, you know, it's been a struggle for them. Two and eight in their last ten. Um, Spurs also two and eight in their last ten. But Clippers should be getting their stars back tonight. And uh, I think I'm going to roll the Clippers minus seven and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Brooklyn Nets versus the Utah Jazz. Jazz opening up as a six and a half point road favorite with the over under at 229 and a half. Nets coming into this matchup 27 and 17. The Jazz 24 and 24. Head to head Jazz are seven and three. Um, yeah, we're going to see if Kyrie plays uh, back to back because they did just lose yesterday. Tough loss to the Phoenix. And um, I feel like the line is already made up of that. Um, that Kyrie's probably not going to play because the Nets are on a four game losing streak. They've been struggling since KD's been out. Jazz four and one in their last five. They're playing well. Uh, Brooklyn 0 and six on the road against Utah. Yeah, if Kyrie's out here, you saw the offense just really isn't that good. And um, I'm going to roll with the Jazz minus six and a half in money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Indiana Pacers versus the Denver Nuggets. Denver opening up as 11 point home favorite with the over under at 240. Pacers coming into this matchup 23 and 23. Denver 32 and 13. Head to head Denver is 8 and 2. Uh don't really see any injuries for uh, Denver here. Pacers, they're on a five game losing streak. Been a tough little stretch for them. Denver, I mean they're 9 and 1 in their last 10. They're hot right now. Um been getting some very good wins. Uh, Pacers 0-5 against Denver, 1-11 on the road against Denver. They've really struggled here. Um, yeah, look, 11 points is a lot. I honestly, I'd probably lean with the 11 on the Pacers, but throw the Den throw you know throw Denver money line in your parlays today. Uh, they would probably be a big parlay addition. Not in love with that 11 point spread. Denver could definitely cover. So do what you want with the spread, but we'll take the Nuggets at home. Next matchup, we got the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Grizzlies opening up as a seven point road favorite with the over under at 243. Grizzlies coming into this matchup 31 and 13. The Lakers 20 and 25. Head to head, Lakers are six and four. Uh, LeBron is questionable. Be sure to check his status. Uh, Memphis, uh, they're on a huge winning streak. I mean, it's crazy the, the run they're on. Lakers one and four in their last five. Yeah, I just, even if LeBron plays, man, Memphis is just too hot right now. Give me the Grizzlies minus seven and money line on the road. Then the last matchup, we got the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Sacramento Kings. Thunder. Uh, uh, Kings opening up as a three-point home favorite with the over-under at 241 and a half. Thunder coming into this matchup 22 and 23. The Kings 25 and 18. Head to head, Sacramento is seven and three. OKC on a four game winning streak. I mean, they're playing pretty good on the run they're on. Kings, I mean, they're on a five game winning streak. Both teams playing very well. Uh, OKC seven and zero covering the spread right now, but they are just one and six against the Kings and one and five covering against the Kings. That's been probably their weakness here. I like the Kings minus three in money line at home. Uh, they've been playing very good, very underrated, this Kings team. They're playing very well. We're going to roll with the Kings at home. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Friday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one.